What's up, everybody? I'm JJ, and this is Door Gunner 47. And today I have Keltex Sub 2000, a semi automatic, straight blowback operated, this one's chambered in 9mm folding rifle. But before I get started, I want to say that I'm not sponsored by any of the product man manufacturers you see in this video. Everything you see in this video, I've either bought with my own money or is on loan to me so I can make these videos. These vi videos are my opinion and some facts about the firearms. That's it. With that being said, let's get into some of the features. So this is a folding rifle. It is gonna have a 16.25 inch barrel that has a threaded end. The threads are half by 28. You're gonna have an adjustable front sight post. You're gonna have a polymer handguard with a pick and tinny rail that runs the 12 and six o'clock position. You're also gonna have M-lock slots that run the three and nine o'clock position on the handguard as well. You're gonna have these cuts for extra texture and grip on the handguard. Um, it is extremely mo modular. I have here A3 Tacticals uh, angled forward grip, 45 degree angle. Uh, Midwest Industries makes this really cool mount for optics. I have a Steiner red dot on here. Um, you can also mount uh, lots of other accessories like this Havoc uh, 37 millimeter flare launcher because this is an extremely versatile firearm. So on, there, I'll get into some of the pros and cons about it here in a moment. So the grip module, the grip module is gonna be polymer. Um, your magazine release is only gonna be on one side. Your uh, safety select is going to be ambidextrous. You will be able to access it from both sides. It does accept Glock style magazines, double stack. So if you have PMAG, Glock mags, drums, it accepts all of that. Uh, no problem. And they run pretty good. The uh, trigger guard, that's going to be your actual takedown slash folding lever which allows you to make the Keltec Sub 2000 extremely compact. You're gonna have a steel tube which houses your recoil spring and your charging handle. Your charging handle is extremely stiff, but it's a simple system. Um, after a few hundred rounds, you should be able to break it in. It does lock to the side, so that way you can uh, clear malfunctions if you have one or anything like that. Uh, and then you can also slap it once it's loaded, get it ready to go. Um, it is extremely modular. It does make a great backpack or camping, hiking, uh, survival situation, firearm, uh, just because you can mount the flare launcher on it. If you're out after dark and you have a situation you need to be found, boom, throw that flare up in the air. Um, I do like Midwest Industries mount because it does make it to where you can fold it up no problem and throw it in that backpack, you know. So, Keltec Sub 2000, it's a fun rifle. Uh, it is only accurate up to about 25 yards for me. I was able to only keep about maintain three inch groups with it. After that, it, it was kind of all over the place. But check it out. If you like the content of this video, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't like the content in this video, let me know in the comment section as well. We'll see you in the next one.